What's up guys, this is Adam Glispie with Rancid and Sweaty Cabs coming at you with yet another video. Uh, today, in case you couldn't tell by the title of this um, review, this little article here, uh, <laughs> we're going to be talking about something completely idiotic. Um, I don't have the words to describe how much I despise this show, uh, this idea that they're trying to come up with. Because this makes total sense with the, uh, the origin story of the Punisher, right? Image Comics, Eric Larson, he's a chief financial over at uh, Image Comics, wants to make P Marvel's Punisher gay. And the reason why he wants to do this is because he wants to own the conservatives. He wants to make it so that the, the gay Punisher will hunt you down for not liking gay people, because you're conservative. And only conservatives hate gay people. And conservative, every conservative has to hate gay people. You know, that's the thing. But in reality, it's the, it's the left who despises homo, uh, <laughs> gay people or lesbians or any like that because they're, they're, they're allowing just completely ridiculous things. I, I don't have the time to describe all that's going on in the political sphere. But what I'm going to talk about is I'm just, I, I've already kind of taken a look through this article. Uh, there are several other articles. You can go check those out. But uh, yeah, here we go. Here's, the, here's a tweet from Eric Larson. Instead of changing Punisher's chest emblem, they should just have Frank finally realize that he's gay. And the beauty of it is, and the beauty of it is that it would wouldn't alter the comics at all. He'd still be dressed in leather, ignoring the ladies, and hanging out in bars with other sweaty dudes. So this guy clearly doesn't know anything about Lord, of, uh, not Lord of the Rings. Sorry, I'm still stuck on that video <laughs> that I just did. This guy clearly knows nothing about the Punisher. The Punisher has a wife and children, and they were killed by the mob, and he hunts the mob down because they killed his wife and child. And, I mean, his wife and daughter and son. The whole reason why Punisher does what he does is because he's going out to get vengeance and make sure that other people don't have to suffer the same way that he did. To make him gay and then go out and try to kill other people because he's gay and he doesn't think that other people like the fact that he's gay would be antithetical to who the Punisher is. The Punisher goes out and stops people who are evil from doing evil things, not people who don't like gay people. Eric Larson is an idiot, in case you can't tell. Let's check out his other tweet here. And the Punisher skull would take on a whole new meaning. It would mean it would just kill the dudes who ban brandish it. They're such a homophobic lot. So now he's talking about police and conservatives. Because in case you don't know, conservatives, police, and even military officers, Marines, Navy, so Navy, uh, Navy officers, uh, army individuals, uh, members in the armed forces, uh, you know, army, navy, air force, marines, all those people. Sorry, I'm trying to go into classifications and my mind is racing. I don't have the time to use the cognitive awareness. Uh, <laughs> all these, he's basically saying, all, all, all people who have worn the Punisher logo are racist, sexist, homophobic, evil people who just want to see the eradication of, of, of all other people except for themselves. When this guy is literally saying he should, he, Punisher should be gay so that he can go out and kill all conservatives for the sake of being conservative. This guy is literally calling for Punisher to be genocidal maniac in comparison to a person who just happens to not like the way that you sleep around. <laughs> Eric Larson is an idiot. Okay, so here we have another tweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna review this tweet. Seriously, if you read Punisher comics, which exist, Nothing changes. You can read comics that are in print, and it all works. Man, he keeps his van tidy. Weird how he hasn't hooked up with any lady in 50 years. It all fits. It's because of trauma. The guy suffered an incredible loss, and he was so devoted to his wife and his children that he fights constantly to avenge their deaths. This guy is such an idiot, he doesn't even understand the motivation of Punisher or the character in general. I can't express how stupid you have to be to think like Eric Larson, but you have to be some kind of idiotic. Uh, I'm not going to go on into much more detail about this. I've already expressed my thoughts on this. It's stupid, the attempt to make every single masculine character turn gay or be a black guy or be another ethnicity, or some other stupid, diverse class, or, or oh, I'm, I'm all of a sudden gender non-conforming, says Batman. Are you kidding me? Or turning Robin gay, or turning Superboy gay, or turning, 
or, or you know, Nightwing, or, or, or some other alternate version of Batman Day, or some alternate version of Superman Day, or making Wonder Woman L part of the LGBTQ community because she grew up on Themyscira, and that means that automatically she hooked up with every woman there. She probably smells like fish because she lived on a beach, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It is stupid beyond belief. It is retarded. This, the commentary of Eric Larson, is retarded. It is so stupid. It is ridiculous to attempt to make every single masculine character, every single character that has some sort of masculine appeal, every, every sort of white masculine male traditional conservative character, into the exact opposite. Or someone who just wants to get down on their knees for other men. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. Just leave Punisher alone. <laughs> you, you guys are... He's too traditional. He's too original. He's too much of a, of a, a, dare I say, alpha male and a vengeful spirit for people at Marvel or any other mainstream comic book industry to deal with. The guy is too much a man with drive and a man with determination for them to think that he could exist or for them to support or for them to make stories about. So they have to twist and change and, and reshape him to fit their stupid political ideology. This right here, in case you don't know, Eric Larson and other people like him are ridiculous and idiotic and should not be listened to. And I hope that every major media corporation that is in comic books burns to the ground because of these stupid comments that these people are making. Anyways, today, this is going to be a short video. I am sick of seeing this garbage. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and, and share the video. I, 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 again, sorry for the stutter there. Again, I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me lately. That means a lot to me. I do appreciate it. <clears throat> I appreciate it beyond belief. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, but I'm, like, I've already mentioned this in two other videos. I nearly got 200 views on one of my last videos. And I've got seven comments on the Lord of the Rings video. Uh, it means the world to me. Seeing that much engagement on my channel, which I had never seen before, so awesome. It, so awesome. It was uh, unbelievable. Uh, so without further ado, that's going to be it for the video today. Again, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's a small thing for you guys, but it means so much to me, and I appreciate everyone who does. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.